All right. Well, uh, let's let's see. That will be it for the uh, news discussion. So let's go ahead and uh, get on with the um, let's playing. Uh, we do got quite a few games that we're going to be going through here. So we're going to spend a little bit of time on each of them, uh, as well as much time as possible. I don't know if we will beat them or not. Uh, we, we might try to play them to completion at least, or if they're small enough. In any case, we're going to start off with um, one that I thought was a little bit hilarious, and it actually made a couple of my yeah a, a couple my colleagues here uh, laugh their head off. Um, Robin Steele, the waifu thief. Uh, mm, uh, I get the pun. Uh, Robin Steele. Yeah. Yeah, Robin Steele. I'm guessing he's a son of Donut Steel. Uh, I was about to say, I guess he's a son of Wooly. Okay. Hold on. I'm trying to... Okay, apparently... Uh... Actually, trying to um, grab this here. Oh, that is really weird because it's think it's grabbing it, but it's not showing anything. So that's all right. Let's, let's see. Uh, let's try grabbing a screen capture. Here, then. Maybe the entire player. Oh, there we go. Not exactly the way I wanted to do it, but we'll go with it. Yes, this is called Robin Steel the Waifu Thief. Uh, be sure to Google it if you are interested. I'll try to add it into the show notes a little bit later. But yeah, the whole idea is you are um, you are Robin Steel the uh, Alicorn Foal, and you are trying to steal a waifu. Why not, huh? Seems legit. Yeah. Wait, did I just see a sketchy? Oh, we do have the sketchy wolf. Oh right, um, yeah. And the uh, next uh, chat week, next weekly challenge. I admit I am a little bit tired when I came up with it. Was um, goat ponies and ghost in the shell. Okay, maybe I'm a little too tired. <coughs> Might oh, have to change on. that one. Sketchy, how you doing, man? I'm doing great. How the fuck are you? I am tired as balls, but I'm still glad to see you, man. How's it going? It is going pretty darn swell. Uh, well, we were just about to get into our uh, discussion here, which is basically let's play some old pony games and just commenting on them, letting people know that they exist. Uh, but before we do that, uh, did you, uh, since we haven't heard from you all, did you want to do a what's up, Brony, or talk a little bit about yourself or what's going on with you? I mean, I got a big one, a big what's up, Brony, if that's something you want to go into. Because well, remember, there was a con last week. Oh. And Ooh, I wow. was the VIP chauffeur. You know what? That, sound, that sounds perfect. Go for it, man. Well, I'm trying. I am trying to send you a link right now for pictures. But um, anyway, for those of you that don't know, I was the VIP chauffeur slash bodyguard for Peter New, Andrea, and Rena, voices of obviously Big Mac and Pink Pie, Fluttershy. Sapphire Shorts. And boy, howdy, we had a fun time. Um, Peter New likes to drink a lot. <laughs> <laughs> and um, Re it was Rena's first con, and she was She was exposed to something that she probably shouldn't have been exposed to um, her first time going to convention. Uh, do I dare ask? Um... We were at this beach, they're, at, they're having a beach party, and I just sent you a link to all the pictures from the con. Um, Alright. So we were at this beach party, and then Peter New was like, hey, let's go somewhere else, let's peruse the, uh, drink the, uh, party scene. And this con, on the entire grounds, anywhere you were at, as long as you were on the grounds of the hotel, you're legally allowed to drink. 
with an oh, open wow. container. So, BabsCon's the big party con, and this one was more of like a layback, like, like, uh, 60s beach party type of con. <laughs> so, uh, um, picture you got up right now, that's Peter New, well, he had up there. It was Peter New posing with, uh, Solar Flare, my 78 Lincoln no, Town I, I still put it back up there. I, I just had to change it up a bit so I can get the pictures rotating a little easier. Yeah. Um, that was taken in front of Better Buzz Coffee, which they stopped at each morning on the way to the convention. Uh, but anyway, back to the fun story. So, we he uh, Peter New hears about this party that's going on in this one room, so we go over to that room, and then like, oh no, we moved it downstairs because we uh, got shut down because there's people next to them that aren't a part, part of the con, so they were complaining. So we go down and... We're, we're in this other room, and my buddy Klepto, who's one of my bodyguards with me, he's like, uh, he's looking at the table, and there's a machine gun sitting on the table, but it's an airsoft machine gun because of the airsofter nerd people, Luna Republic or whatever they call themselves. Right, yeah. That was their bra. But I had a uh, horse dildo on the uh, barrel. Oh, boy. <laughs> and, and then I go walking up, and I see what else is sitting on the table and it's a bunch of smut R34 stuff little cards all around the table and then Klepto looks at the one of the guys is like hey can you get rid of this you have the voice actors in your room <laughs> and then Rena's like Rena comes over what are y'all looking at and then she looks at and she goes oh my god <laughs> <laughs> oh wow Oh. And she, she's like, uh-uh, that is not right. That is not okay. And then she takes her phone out and takes a picture of it. <laughs> and then uh, I was like, hey, guys, I got a great idea. We have a green room. Why don't we go party in the green room? <laughs> so, and then uh, later on, there was these people. They were, they were doing a panel, and it was a 18-plus uh, panel. And Rena wanted to go to it. <laughs> and I was like, are you sure you want to go to it, Rena? So we stopped by there real quick. And then she, uh, they were saying, if, if anybody has been, any complaints, come up and uh, voice them. I really have no idea what the, the forum was about. But, you know, complaining about stuff, that's always fun. Why not? So they're like, anyone has a legitimate complaint? And I walked up there because we wanted Rena to go up and talk about her com her experience in that room which those some of the people that were in that room were there in the audience and I go up and I'm just like hey my only legitimate complaint is that none of you all none of you guys are legitimate and then I dropped the microphone and then I walked away it's like they were, they, were they, they weren't running their forum properly it was just all over the freaking place and then Rena goes walking up and she goes okay I got a complaint, y'all. And the two of the people that were in that room start to stand up, and she goes, uh-uh, no, 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 don't you walk away. You're the guys that had that machine gun with that horse penis on it. And then everyone in the audience is like, what? <laughs> <laughs> oh. That face just must have been priceless. Oh, and wow. She, the, everyone turns around and looks at him. She goes, mm -hmm, I don't want to talk about what you all had on the table. <laughs> But I just want to—I just want to say, thank God I did not see my pony in that sort of way, because <laughs> I would have just left y'all. And then Peter New said, "Those ponies had uh, those pony pictures had surprisingly human-shaped vaginas," and everybody went, "Oh!" <laughs> <laughs> like embarrassed the crap out of the people that were in that room. I'm like. That was probably one of the highlights, and uh, for the VIP dinner, we had to take, um, well, the VAs, of course, to dinner, and some people that, like, won the tickets to go do the dinner, and people who bought the tickets to go do the dinner, and those people loved it. Um, Sydney, but first, we had to take Rena back to her hotel. And while we were waiting for her to um, change into more formal attire for the dinner, 
we were out in front of her hotel for a good 30 minutes. So then me and my uh, buddy Klepta, who was my co-driver, we started dicking around and we started we made this uh, funny video I linked into the chat. Mm. And um, people were walking by. Uh, for people who... All right, I'm watching the live stream, so I don't know if you're playing the video or not I right just now. Did, mm -hmm. I just started it, yeah. Oh, okay. Um, my internet's lagging for some reason. So he, he's in the trunk of the car, and people are walking by, and they just see me, because after he just stayed in there for a while, and I was talking to him, but I'm sitting outside of the trunk, and then people are like, what? Who's that guy talking to? And they walk by, and they're like, oh my god, there's someone in the truck. And this dude came walking out of the lobby. This is like a five-star hotel in downtown San Diego, by the way. We're doing this in front of... This guy walks down... <laughs> And he's, he starts lighting up a cigarette, and I go, Hey, buddy, can I have one? And then, like, I stand up off the trunk, and I walk up towards him. And then Klepto goes, Yeah, can I get one, too? And the guy, like, jumps like, three <laughs> feet back and went, Oh, my God, there's someone back there. <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, Rena texted me, and she's like, Hey, I'm sorry, I've, it's taken me a while to get a dress. And then I took a picture of Klepto just with a pose, like, draw me one of your French ponies in the trunk of the car. Like, oh, don't worry, we're entertaining ourselves. <laughs> wow. She started laughing. Sketchy, but, uh, like, trying to go say you did look like a mobster in, like, one of the pictures. <clears throat> oh, yeah, and that's how I always dress at the conventions. Yeah. And, um, Sunday was an easy day for us, so we just had to take them to, um, a signing. But there was endless mimosas at the bar. Oh, God. And we got pretty day wasted. And we made this video that I just sent to you. <laughs> it's called Go. It's what the Luna's Angels do on their break. <laughs> but, um, yeah, pretty much. There's like. I could just go on of all the experiences we had in there. Uh, Klepto, the skinny guy on the left, he got so drunk that on the mimosas he went to gesture like a hand gesture and he smacked his mimosa glass and shattered it <laughs> and then he tried to catch it <laughs> then he cut his finger and then my buddy brains sunday night when the con was winding down um he was packing his stuff because he was going home and he cut his finger like sliced it wide open on his safety razor not a very safety razor if you ask me no, uh, not even a little bit. And it was it was bleeding pretty freaking bad. Like, pretty bad. And we went up to the hotel lobby, the front desk, to get uh, him take all patched up and taken care of, which they did an amazing job. It's like we almost went to the doctors, how professional the patch-up job was. And the guy's like, uh, what are you guys doing, playing with a knife? And then I, I take my hand out of my pocket and I make a gesture with like my shoulders and then also clicking my switchblade open and going me playing with knives come on <laughs> <laughs> but yeah man that was a great con hey it sounded like you had a great a great amount of fun there uh, mm. we're also be... gonna we're definitely doing it next year um, uh, so did they get uh, renewed for another year yeah we broke even well we broke a little bit more than even with the con budget which is pretty good for you know first run con oh yeah breaking even is uh, almost like the goal of any con after five years let alone first yeah and we we didn't even have like like other cons like helping us you know what I mean mm -hmm. it was just us <laughs> Just us, nobody else. But uh, they they had took my art, um, made posters of it, uh, and then we sold those at the convention. And the first, this is a first, we made custom badges for the voice actors, and we didn't put their names on it, we just put their OCs, or their character on it. Mm -hmm. And uh, Andrea told me that this, it, it was her most favorite con badge ever because it didn't have her name on it and i go yeah i mean how stupid does the person have to be that they have to go andrea 
live me. Oh yeah, she's a VIP person. <laughs> <laughs> and then me being a, a egotistical jackass, I had to put my car on a VIP badge. <laughs> Why not? Because hey, that get grants them access to the chauffeur car. Nah, that's the way I know. <laughs> mm. Yeah, but hey. that was that was a great con, especially to get my get my art out there. Uh, mm. My deviant art views shot up, sp like spiked during the convention, and then like I got a bunch of watchers and stuff. Now shit ton of people that want art for me, and I'm like, whoa, 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 calm down, all right? <laughs> huh. I'm glad to hear that you had a great time. Huh? Yeah, I wish uh, Blanked and Comet were here to really talk it up. Uh, yeah, unfortunately, Blanked, some, something might have happened with him. And, um, well, Comet, he's in the middle of something else. He probably doesn't even notice what in the world's going on at this point. Yeah, go figure. Hey, hey Sketchy, uh, are you turning um, Luna into a Camino? What? Oh no! Yeah, I think you went, you went too far on the pictures there. That was a that's no, I, that I was. Didn't, a, I didn't touch the Luna in the pictures. Oh mm, no! I clicked in the link and just scrolled down. Oh, oh no! That was a April Fool's prank. <laughs> mm. uh, but uh, she's being shipped. The Luna is on a boat right now, probably in the Panama Canal, going to England, because one of my fans bought her. Damn. So, uh, it's going to go terrorize the countryside in England. And then when I go to BuckCon, which I hopefully I'll be able to do, uh, my buddy, we call him UK, or he's called Urban Cowboy on a DeviantArt. He's like, well, you're going to rent a car when you come over here. It's going to be weird driving uh, on the right-hand side of the vehicle. And I go, no, fuck that. You're going to have my car. I will drive it there. <laughs> So I get to terrorize the countryside in England for a change. <laughs> uh, and now we're um, getting to the art that he's that he created for the Pacific Pony Con, and wow, it really is some incredible art here. Oh, and they also printed out T-shirts too. So I want to take the picture of the huge swag that's sitting on the hotel bed. You see the T-shirts up on the top left. Yeah, I was wondering if those were T-shirts or bags there. Wow. No, they're, they're t-shirts. And I got all I got my own art swag for free, because, you know, hell, I'm the fucking artist that made this damn thing. <laughs> so their their original artist that they hired for the convention, he just took the money and ran and didn't give them any art. Wow, uh, that, that's, that's just dickish. Yeah. That's a dick move. Um, I'm not going to say any names, but it rhymes with uh, Petra... Tony, uh, if anybody can uh, figure that out. <laughs> but uh, then they contacted me because I was already being their show. It's like, you do art. Can you uh, do art for the con? And I go, I'm going to put my own twist on it, you know, with the cars and stuff. And they were fine with it. And I, I had to do all of that within like three weeks. All that art for their con. And I had to fix... I had to fix the Lincoln uh, solar flare twice and then one like once on the job site going to go pick up Reno right before I went to go pick her up the bolt for the caliper was coming loose because I heard a grinding noise in the parking lot and then I had to um, I asked one of the hotel guys because I took all my tools out of the trunk so there was room for their bags and stuff and I asked the hotel staff, I'm like, do you got a guy that has like a socket set here? So we uh, we tightened the bolt back down, put Loctite on it, tightened it down. Uh, I had to take the tire, the front tire off and everything, and they threw it back on. All doing this in a three-piece suit, mind you. And I didn't <laughs> get a spot of dirt on it, on me, or, or any grease or anything. Within a half hour and enough time to go pick up Arena at the airport. <laughs> That's how you do it. That, that's how the Luna's Angels get things done, my friend. And uh, Rena was so overjoyed by the way like we handled everything and 
took care of everything. And same thing with Andrea. They want, they said, oh, we're gonna, we're, I'm definitely considering putting you guys in our rider next time we go to a convention. Like, you need, this, these guys need to be there to do, to do the bodyguard work. And I go, sweet! I would love that endorsement. <laughs> You know the whole irony about all this? While you were talking, I had the music for one of the games you were going to let's play just playing in the background, and it's oddly fitting for all of it. It was It's almost poetic in a hilarious way. Oh, really? Yeah. Well, just, what music was it? I, I, I don't know what the na na title is, but it's from a it's from a Flash game somebody created called Robin Steele the Waifu Thief. Robin like, Steele the Waifu? The Waifu Thief, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but it's just like this catchy 16-bit uh, um, chip tune thing. It's kind of funny. <laughs> but yeah, um, that's the con experience in a nutshell. And I'm finally reopened for commissions now because I don't have to do all the art under the fucking sky in under a month now. So I've got plenty of free time to do shit. Uh, I might have to hit you up for a new commission for just for our title card here. But before we do that, of course, uh, let let me uh, throw it, this uh, out to the chat room here a little bit in case you have any questions in regards to the con from the uh, artist and also head of security of, uh, well, uh, Pacific uh, Pony Con. So, yeah, we got a bit, a bit of an exclusive right here. Uh, I can't definitely um, going to take advantage of it as, as long as we're able to, of course. <laughs> <laughs> Breaking news! You heard it live on the, the Brony Show. Tell your friends. Tell your family. I well, you heard it on YouTube uh, a couple of, a couple of days later, but it doesn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, chat room. If you have any questions uh, that you want to throw out there, uh, or or you want to ask uh, our resident uh, sketchy wolf here, uh, please feel free to do so. Otherwise, uh, we'll probably, um, we still got a little bit of time left. We'll probably end up playing some of uh, Robin Steel the Waifu Thief, and that'll be it for the uh, only game we really let's play. So, yeah, plans changed a little bit this episode, but I'm, I'm kind of glad it was a change for the better. We're changing gears. We're, we're shifting up. I need more alcohol to be more wittier. Well, uh, how, how about we just jump in on the uh, first question that we got here in the chat real fast from Safi. Uh, Sketchy, do you have any rygrets? Rygrets? Rygrets, apparently, yes. Rygrets. Well, I don't know what rygrets are, but I think they mean regrets. I'm pretty any sure about that. Any regrets from the con? I'm guessing. I, I'm guessing any regrets from the con or any regrets about the entire weekend in general? Mm, only regrets. I don't think it. Well, um, not being able to drink enough because I was the DD. That was probably my only regrets. Oh, and uh, the Bali High is where we had the VIP dinner, which is like this Polynesian themed '60s restaurant, and they have this mai tai there that's called uh, the Bali High mai tai. And if you know how large a tumbler glass is, it's that it, they fill all the way to the brim and the entire thing is just alcohol. <laughs> Ooh, nice. There's no mixer in it. And that's one of my only regrets is because all you the times I've been there, I haven't been able to have it because I was the DD. Oh. And, oh. and when I went there, I was like, I don't, I'm like, how long are, is the dinner going to go on? An hour and a half? And I go, yeah, there's no fucking way I'm going to be able to have one. Uh, their uh, Valley High Mai Tai, and then and then drive the VAs back to their hotel rooms afterwards. Oh, <laughs> yeah, that is not happening. No, no. So, All right. Um, let's see. Um, let's see. Awesome, Brony. Well, I'll I'll um, rework his question here a little bit. Um, uh, did you meet anybody else in the Brony community over at PonyCon, or um, anybody worth mentioning? Some guy named. Uh, people in it there there was like the big fish small pond type people is what you mean so yeah um the lady i, I think her name is i love kim possible oh yeah kim possible yeah it is kim possible yeah yeah that one i think that's what her name is she's the reviewer chick uh, -huh. mm. uh we picked her up at the airport but uh my vip services were only for the vas 
she just didn't have a ride, so I was like, yeah, we got nothing planned, so I went to go pick her up on Thursday night. She seems like a, uh, like a pretty okay chick. Um, there was this guy called Selfie Pony. He just comes up to me randomly, and he's just like, hey, can I get a selfie with you? I'm, I'm trying to break a record here. And I go, I don't know who the fuck you are, but okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to break a record. I don't know who you are, but fine. <laughs> And he goes to take the, and he's like recording, his friend's recording the whole thing. And then he goes to give me, he goes to take a picture with the selfie. And I'm sitting there and I'm looking really pissed off into the camera. And I'm, and then right when he's about to click it, I gave him the bird in the selfie. <laughs> <laughs> and I was look, I gave him, like I was looking at him like, who the fuck is this asshole? Oh, uh, uh, anybody else in the, the oh, um. Who the fuck that guy's name is dude something races rp i don't know it's this blonde haired guy that does like youtube videos kind of got that bowl cut i don't know what his name is and he normally does like blog video vlogs and shit you described he, so like, many youtubers <laughs> <laughs> There's but he's like he's like pony specific and he's like one of the popular guys. I forgot it. I forget his name. Uh, but in his live, I don't know. I didn't know he was live streaming or doing his vlog or whatever. But he, I parked the, my Lincoln in front of the hotel, and then he goes, "Look at this fine demolition derby car right here. It's got this rake front of me." Oh. Hey, hey, hey! Who the fuck do you think you are, calling my car a demolition <laughs> derby car? <laughs> Just threw him off track. <laughs> oh, and then he's like, uh, we've got two people, two people in the chat. AC yeah. and Race Best. Yeah, that guy. Uh, I have never heard of him, so that's a new one on me. Uh, uh, is he the one? Is he the one that uploads the uh, Bronies React videos? Yeah. I, I yes. Think, I think he does. Apparently, he does demolition derbies too. So. Huh. But um, I was like, dude, the VAs have been riding in this. I don't see you riding in something this swagalicious. What do you got? A Honda Civic? <laughs> and he's like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we got a Honda Civic, yeah. Like, yeah, but one of my fans told me that I my car was in his vlog, and I go, oh sweet, he posted that whole reaction. But no, it's like he he redid the uh, he like restaged it so I wasn't there. And then he was describing it about my car being a good demolition derby car. I'm like, that fucking pussy didn't put me on his show. He redid the whole thing without me. What oh, a I scared that. I, I would have thrown that in there just because of the shock value. It would have been hilarious. Yeah. But, you know, some people just can't handle silly crap happening. Me, I have happened to do constantly. I can't, I can't get enough of it anymore, apparently. Well, uh, let's see. Awesome burning up. Yeah, I'm pretty sure he didn't have chan a chance to really do any dancing, considering he had to take care of uh, VAs, but, uh... No, you did see my little dance video. I stand corrected. About as far as we went. <laughs> That's about as far as he went with dancing, yeah, but... Uh... You don't dance in a three-piece suit. You no. do a suit dance, which would which was what I was doing in the middle. <laughs> yeah, ba basically, it, it's, um, it's the equivalent of dad dancing. Yep, pretty much. <laughs> Alright, anybody else have any other questions in the chat room there? Let's see, yep. Yeah. I'm not sure if um, Awesome Brony is actually taking a look in the, uh, who was there at Pacific Pony Con or he's just asking random questions. Mm. Which, unfortunately, with Awesome Brony, it's kind of hard to tell. I think that it's picking up a Wow. Do I sound very far away to you? Oh, you guys? sound great, man. No problem here. Okay. Because I'm I don't know if it's my if the studio mic is working or if it's <laughs> picking up. Okay, just um I am gonna go ahead and ask this one just because I am very positive that Sketchy here is gonna have the one of the best answers we could ever ask for on this um, from Awesome Brony. Uh did you see any voice actors? What oh, the God. fuck do you think? <laughs> <laughs> I picked up. I have their cell phone numbers. 
<laughs> awesome brony. The some of the pictures we've been showing out here on the stream. This is Andrea Libman. This is uh, Rena. I can't remember her last name, even though it was there a second ago. This is Peter New. They are the vo they are voice actors for the show. Peter New is basically almost every single male in the show. Andrea Libman is most importantly Big Mac. Yes, B Big Mac is definitely one of the big ones here. Uh, give you a better idea here. Well, actually, that doesn't give you any idea, but um, Peter New is Peter New. But yeah, Renee Anak Anakwa. She does yes. Sapphire Shores. She does it's Sapphire Shores. Yeah. Oh wow, that's a locker room. Yeah. 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 Um, uh. <laughs> her. She had this one person say, come up to her and be like, hey, can you say sensational the way like Sapphire Shores does it? And then she goes, it's sensational. And then I go, you're going to get really tired of that after the second time. <laughs> <laughs> well, at least somebody got in there before. The... My dad got to meet Rena too, Ooh, for a nice. brief time, because my dad brought some of my art swag to sell in the, uh, the dealer's hall. And then she, she's like, I go, oh, Rena, this is my father. And she's like, oh, your dad? And I go, he's a closet brony. And then my dad goes, no, I I'm just a supporter. <laughs> Close it <laughs> up. And that's, that's Papa Pony, or as uh, some people like to call him, Papa Sketch. My dad, uh, that, was like my dad's, that was my dad's first con, Pony Con. He was there for a total of five minutes. I had an excuse <laughs> to go over there, and I was thrilled. <laughs> I didn't think my age, so I took off. <laughs> <laughs> That's Papa Pony for you. <laughs> oh, and then uh, we, we met some guy at the bar who was like, we were talking to about the whole pony thing, and then Ted comes over and I was like, hey, can I take him into the dealer's hall? <laughs> <laughs> and he's like, sure, I don't care as long as you keep an eye on him. And then, like, we were in there and he goes, uh, what's with the pillows with the ponies on it? And I go, oh, that's a. Uh, thing we're gonna ignore. <laughs> yeah, that's something we're not gonna talk about ever. We're just not gonna talk about that. We're gonna move along to this stuff. Yeah. Oh, hey, you want to buy some of my art that's on the table right here? I drew that. <laughs> All, right. All right. Well, it sounds like some awesome, great stuff here. It doesn't look like we have any more questions coming up in the chat room here. So. Uh, Sketchy, thank you very much for telling us all about Pacific Pony Con. I hope you'll uh, stick around for the rest of the show here just for random commentary and stupidity. Oh, well, yeah, of course. I got alcohol. <laughs> Perfect reason. All right. But yeah, we're going to go ahead and uh, jump into the uh, other thing that we were doing here for the moment, uh, which was uh, Robin Steal the Waifu Thief. <laughs> Of course, that's oh, probably going to be the only remember. thing we're going to be doing in the Let's Play portion here, so let's uh, swap back up. Plus, I'm pretty sure you guys are more interested in what in the world the music's all about rather than just the uh, random music playing in the background there. Though, I, I really got to get some... I got to do something like that more often. That, that actually really worked out well. Okay, so yeah, this is uh, Robin Steele, the waifu thief. He uh, is apparently a foal uh, that is an alicorn that can swing a magic hammer. Currently, he is trotting his way all through Canterlot to try to find Twilight Sparkle and steal the, the waifu. Of course, he's going to be stopped by every single guard that spots him. Mm. Ooh, and I just stunned him there. Let's see. Crowd's easier to fight. So, yeah. Find little crowd tips here. The whole objective, of course, is do not die. Uh, of course, that means I've also got to start grabbing hearts as I'm going around here. And before anybody else asks, yeah, this is the only sound in the game. It's uh, it, this was a this is a flash game. I downloaded it from the original creator over on DeviantArt, so I would recommend. Anybody who is curious, either check our show notes. I will update it with the uh, page to the DeviantArt creator. Or just Google um, Robin Steal the Waifu Thief. And I'm sure you'll find the DeviantArt page pretty quickly. But yeah, I don't, I don't know if they've had any more updates since I actually downloaded this. This is their version 2.1. There's actually a secret if you beat it in Crazy Hard Mode. I unfortunately forgot to select Crazy Hard Mode, so... We're doing this in normal. And unfortunately, the game is also doing some random freezes here, so hopefully that's not going to end up killing oh, man. me. 
Let's see. The first swings are great for defense. Yeah, let's get random fun facts here. Let's see, grab a heart, move on up. Now we're on floor four. As to how high this goes, I will admit I never beat the game. I only played enough to make sure that the download actually worked. Of course, um, the downloading work download working is questionable at this point. A little freeze ups here and there. Uh, while I'm uh, playing this though, another thing that uh, popped into my head here just now. Uh, has anybody heard of Laser Quest? No. Yeah, apparently, uh, from uh, a team over in Rooster Teeth, they are actually uh, releasing... Oh! Laser Team! I stand corrected, Laser oh, Team. Oh, yeah. It's, uh, now, you know what I'm talking about though, right? Yeah. Yeah. It's mo yeah, it's Rooster Teeth. Rooster Teeth pretty much full fully produced their, their first ever feature length movie. Yep. And apparently it's, it's getting a limited theatrical release starting Yep. not, not this week, but next week. <clears throat> yeah, next week, uh, pretty much you can go to Laser Team, uh, I think it's laserteammovie.com and you can look up screenings and I'm not sure if it's too late to do it now, but the website that they're doing it through called Tug, uh, you can actually, ease, you can pretty much easily request a uh, screening in your town if there's not one. Ah, yeah, we already got a couple in our uh, town in our town here already, actually. Yeah. I actually managed to. I live uh, fairly close to a couple of theaters that are showing it, and Comet is pretty much said we're gonna have to check this out. Show me a trailer. I'm just like, yeah, we're gonna have to. This is. This looks... Yeah, it, it. I mean, it's pretty. Pretty much, it's these guys knew they were making. I'm sorry. It's just. It's just that it looks silly. That's really all you can say. Yeah, it looks really, really silly, but in all honesty, that's kind of what I'm hoping for, because it's just been forever since we had a good, silly comedy. Usually it's the really over the comedy that's, um, it, it does have its silly moments, but it's also dramatic, and then it has its, uh, oh, we're all gonna fail, and everything's gonna die. It, yeah, it's just no silliness. And well, God damn it, these guards are coming everywhere. Well, Deadpool comes out next month. True, that one and that I can't wait for either. <laughs> of course, another thing I can't wait for next week is going to be Rift Tracks. They're going to they're going to do a re Rift Tracking of the Room. Huh. But yeah, anybody can tell me. Yeah, anybody who's been on the internet long enough knows exactly what the Room is. Pretty much. Why are there so many guards? There are many guards in the damn castle here. Ah, oh, damn, damn, damn. Oh, Jesus. Christ is tomorrow. What's, what's the, why is Jesus Christ tomorrow? I said MAGFest. Oh. Let's see, yep. floor seven. I seem to remember Mac, I seem to remember MAGFest. I, I remember MAGFest starting earlier in January for some reason. Mm. Like I could have, like I could have sworn I remember one year it's starting like almost right after New Year's. Nah, for this year it's either it started either the 18th or it starts tomorrow. Alright. Yeah. By the way, it's gonna be. Uh, I haven't seen much of the trailers for Laser Team and that stuff, but uh, I gotta, I gotta admit it's gonna be. I find it funny that from what I did see. That basic, that pretty much the the uh, Gavin Free, the guy, you know, the British guy that that's in a lot of the Rooster Teeth stuff. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. They pretty much he plays a character who has like a thick Texas like Southern accent. But no, uh, sorry, I missed it. But apparently, you know, but I like what they did to basically make it to where he didn't have to keep that up, because because uh, the helmet that he ends up wearing throughout the film. It 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 like allows him to change his voice, so he just starts talking like a British person. Ha! <laughs> nice. So he just starts talking normally. Okay, I got I gotta give it to him. That that is yeah. that is some clever. Finale, and they man. yeah, and they have shown a little bit of the scene where he does that, and they they look they're looking around and and they look at him. And it's like is that is that what he thinks smart people sound like? <laughs> All right. 
Okay, now for Robin Steel, we're in, instead of um, beating up every guard we see, we're gonna run for our goddamn lives! Oh god! Ah! Ah! I, they're all after me! I just want one waifu! Seriously, I, seriously, I got like eight waifus. guards trying to beat the crap out of me here. And now they're all dead. Or unconscious. Probably dead. And I think the stairs were actually up there. Yep, there they are. Ooh, I think we got it. Flash sentry. That means we're, I think we're near the end here. Okay, you know what? This game is worth it now because I get to beat the crap out of flash sentry. Oh shit, he's beating the crap out of me. Ah! The guards are everywhere. There's a heart piece! Aw, oh, cheap son of a bitch! He can run away! Yay for poorly coded- Ah! Oh! Son of a bitch. So off topic, what were you guys doing to celebrate Martin Luther King Day? I, I, I didn't work. I ended up um, helping my friend, um, well, helping Blank to look for another job closer to home. And I have stolen the waifu <laughs> and Twilight teleported away. My well, fish. I got me a, uh, after work, I got me some Popeye's fried chicken and a watermelon and a Colt 45. <laughs> See, crazy difficulty is beatable. wonder what that means. Okay, we're going to do a little bit of crazy difficulty here just to see if I can get my, see how far I can get. Because I, apparently I did beat the game. At least normal I beat the game, but Twilight teleported away, so... I got to beat the crap out of Flash Sentry, and Robin Steele does not get his waifu. Go oh god, why do I get the feeling that the that whole like special thing for that one difficulty is you, you actually get Twilight? Well, I heard something about the uh, gold floor. Uh, well, it says something about a gold floor for the final stage, but I don't know. So, so far, crazy difficulty doesn't seem all that difficult. Granted, you know, you still got enemies running around like normal. I'm half tempted to just start running from floor to eh, screw it. Floor to floor it is. If I see hearts, I'm, I'm just going to make a barrel roll for it here. Ooh, there's a heart. Okay, I will give a, I will give some credit. I know the music is pretty repetitive, but it doesn't drill into your skull repetitive. You know, it's kind of nice repetitive, if anybody knows what that means. In other words, good NES music. Yeah. yeah you, you can just kind of enjoy it for what it is for the moment. You don't get too drilled into it. Yeah. But yeah, I, I do like to thank Martin Luther King for giving me a reason not to work today. Because it was kind of nice not having to work on a Monday, though tomorrow is going to suck. Granted, I, I'm not going to lie, my job has been sucking a lot the last few weeks. Uh, it's basically been non-stop calls, really crazy people trying to get crap done. <clears throat> Considering it's near the end of tax season and what my job entails... Uh, I'm not too surprised that tech support is going completely kind of stupid. Shit! Run! 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 Grab the heart! Run! Okay. Okay, anyway, uh, just for a quick heads up as well, 
the weekly challenge has changed. It's not going to be ponies and ponies and ghosts in the shell. Admittedly, that's kind of a weird uh, combination. Oh shit. Anyway, uh, where was I? Um, yeah, it's going to be ponies and sweaters. Ponies and sweaters. That's it. We got to defeat. Oh god. Oh, I gotta defeat the ultimate Twilight Protector. I gotta defeat her boy, her um, boyfriend, her brother. Oh shit! Ah! What? A... Jeez. Actually, this will be perfect right here if I can. Uh, fr freaking Xenoblade and your damn item drops. The problem is, I'd be able to dodge the brother's shot, but I'm getting all these guards out of <clears throat> a lot of these guards. <sighs> ah, almost had it that time. Wait, didn't I just defeat the brother? Jeez, I thought the game froze on me for- well, the game did- oh. Now I'm 4.11? What the- Okay, so I think the game just decided it's just adding on floors for me here. So grab a heart. Let's see. So, let's see if what happens if I can get to 15 here. Ooh. Perfect. Oh, crap. Now I gotta fight Flesh Sentry again. Let's see. Is there a hallway I can abuse the hell out of here? the hell out of this. Yeah, I think I'll abuse this area too. Abuse the shit out of it. Well, the AI is not very good. Yeah, but in all honesty, if the AI was good, we'd be all we'd all be in deep due to here. Cause yeah, they're they're just swarming you. So 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 they're so they're essentially changing. Uh, so many guards. Freaking line of guards. Well, a very stupid line of guards, but a line of guards on the glass. And at the moment, I'm basically just holding down attack and just running around and trying to time my swings. Ooh, there's, um, there's our Lance Corporal there.
Oh, damn it. Hmm, maybe if I'm lucky, that'll be the last of the... Nope. No, nope. there's still more armed guards. Hire goons. Damn it, stop. I'm gonna die. I'm never gonna see the ending. I've been captured and I've been kicked out of the castle. So that's it. If you really want to try it, um, the apparently you can't you can't beat Maniac difficulty. It's difficult as hell, and it probably would have helped if I grabbed a lot of health at the moment. But that will be it for our let's play portion. Uh, now we're gonna go ahead and move on to the video portion, which I'm sure a lot of you have been excited for. So we're gonna bring up our sync tube here and. Of course, as I mentioned before, we since we are on hiatus for Season 5, we're going to go to C Series 2, My Little Pony Tales, and the next episode is Stand By Me. Stand By, by Me.